Oh my God, my name is Chinwe Ebuanu, the area president of Lagos Area 7. And by the grace of God today, the young daughters of Lagos Area 7, we are hosting the international president of YDF SFI. So the program all about our mommy has a passion for young daughters and the people we are going to hand over the next generation the ministry and the ministry the program is all about bringing them closer letting them know that there is joy in Jesus oh my god they have benefited so much and even people that are not young daughters like this afternoon I got a call someone said that she saw the flyer online she saw the flyer and she please wants to go i had to stop the bus for her to enter the expectation of this program you can see the team who has your ears a lot of noise is outside there many of them are hearing a lot of things giving their ears to so much and by the inspiration of the holy ghost the international president of young daughters gave us this team the expectation is to hear god and to know god better to serve god better and at the end to make heaven Ah, so the young daughters, all young daughters in SFI, they have a lot to win. They have a lot to gain. Mommy is grooming them. Mommy is nurturing them by the word that she is giving them. They are prepared. And above all, when they get into their marriages, they are going to make it. They will enjoy marriage. They will not endure marriage. And above all, in the society, they will conquer. And they are known as young daughters on Monday. They are mandated to conquer. My sweet, adorable mommy, our life coach, I can't stop loving her. Thank God for her, that when she receives from God, she passes on to us. And I pray that the Lord will continue to keep her mommy and to all our young daughters. After this, there shall be epidemic of weddings, epidemic of good things, because they are shining stars. Let's begin to appreciate God. Let's thank God for today, for everything he has done, for making it possible for us to gather here once again. Father, we appreciate you. We thank you. We exalt your holy name. We thank you because it can only be you. And it can only be you, God. Thank you, God. We thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. My Lord and my, my, my Father, we thank you because you're God. We thank you for bringing us here. We thank you for everything. We thank you for you are going to do wonderful things here today. We thank you, Lord. Be thou exalted forever in the name of Jesus. Beloved, let's commit whatever we are going to do today into the hands of our God Almighty. My Father, we commit. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we hand over. Let's begin to ask the Holy Spirit to take over, to take prayer minutes of whatever we are going to do today. Prayers. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. We ask the Holy Spirit to take over. Take over. We hand over to you. Take prayer minutes. We silence every voice that is not of God that will come and say what we're going to do today. Father, we say that the voice is silent in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed.
today, and today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Princess Ujuma Amadi. By special grace of God, I am the president of Young Daughters Lagos Area 7. This is the first that's ever happened in Lagos State. So my expectation today that nobody as a young daughter that step her feet here will go back the same. As we are mandated to conquer, after today's program, we are going into the world to conquer the world. And by special grace of God, we are the world changers. My expectation will, not, will never go back the same as we came. We are fully prepared by special grace of God for the presentation, not just physically prepared, but spiritually prepared. Like we call us, young daughters of mandate, mandated to conquer. Young daughters of mandate, mandated to conquer. Mandated to conquer, young daughters of mandate. Mandated to conquer, heaven mandates. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, hi. 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 You're welcome, you're welcome. Monday. Monday to conquer. Monday to conquer. Monday to 
now. I'm so happy to be here because I'm plus one today. My birthday is today. So I just want to give God the praise that He yeah, allowed me to see this wonderful day. And I'm so happy because these um, sisters here, they are going to celebrate um, my birthday for me because. <laughs> Because I'm so happy, like I was saying that how Jesus, this um, this our program just close with my birthday, so I'm so happy to be here. So just, I'm so happy. In the afternoon, Friday, Friday, I think around 1 p.m., our last one called me that um, have I heard that two women has put together? I say yes. She said, but I said, what is the but there? She said that, that she has been bleeding and she has been fainting. I say, now lie, you. I say, God, you that have been calling. I reminded God of my September to remember. I reminded God of my constant service in SFI. I say, Papa, if you are the God of Mom in Chess, if you are the God of my president, ah, Papa, come and do something. And as I was doing, as I was, as I was you know, you know, um, saying not all these things in my mind. My mind was like, why don't you call them? I called um, my president. My president, she didn't pick call. I called AP, and and to the glory of God, the bleeding ceased. I want to give God the glory. I want to say, may His name be praised in Jesus' name. Testify, yeah. please stand on your feet while I call on Sister Mori to pray for the testifiers. In Jesus' name, Father, we want to thank you for the opportunity you've given to your children to testify. Father, we'll cover the testimonies with the blood of Jesus. It will remain permanent in the name of Jesus. Affliction will not arise again. In Jesus' name, amen. Worry, my beloved God. Worry, my beloved God. He has all my beloved me. Worry, my bellas, God. Worry, my bellas. He said to do my bellas, say to me. Hallelujah. My bellas, God. Worry, my bellas, God. He has all my bellas, say to me. Worry, my bellas, God. Worry, my bellas. To do my bellas, say to me. Worry, my bellas, God. Worry, my bellas, God. He has done my bellas things for me. Worry, my bellas, God. Worry, my bellas. He used to do my bellas things for me. Hallelujah. Hey, worry, my bellas, God. Worry, my bellas. He used to do my bellas. Praise the Lord. Please, if today is your first time of coming, please stand up. Please be on your feet. Let's welcome them in an SFI way. clapping your hands. All those that are joining us for the first time. Even that particular person that called me that said she saw it online. Where are you? Are you here? The lady that called me. Are you the one? Oh my God. She was saying, I don't want to miss this program. I saw it on Instagram. She's here today. We are happy to see you. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? And give them a Holy Ghost welcome as we sing. You are highly, highly welcome. Go around and welcome them. Our brother, you are welcome too. You are welcome. You are highly, highly 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 welcome. In Jesus' name, John. You are highly, highly welcome. You are highly, highly welcome. You are highly, highly welcome. In Jesus' name. It's time to share the vision. The vision or vision of this great ministry. As I call on Sister Chinasa to come and share the vision for us. Praise Master Jesus. Please clap for her, she's coming. Young daughters on Monday. Monday said to conquer. Monday said to conquer every Monday. 
our VVIP, you are highly welcome. You are not here by mistake. In fact, the person that invites you, go after this program. Go and give her a chilled mud. So, so the ministry you came today is called SFI for short. Sisters Fellowship International. You, we are not a church. We are not uh, a club. This is a ministry of love. This ministry is based on two solid principles, love and appreciation. How did this ministry come to pass? It was a, a, a covenant. It was a ministry given to our mommy. We call her mommy because it's a covenant name. The, the, the ministry was given to her in 1984 at um, Birmingham, UK. Before then, before she went there, her mommy is a woman that loves God so much. And she suffered inf primary infertility for eight years. So during that period, she decided to further her education and she traveled to Birmingham, United Kingdom. So during that period, our mommy was uh, a member of an intercessory group, just like we have here. And in that mini fellowship, every time they worship God during the, uh, the, the, the break time. So in that fellowship, that day that God spoke for, to her, they were praying, and as they were praying, the, the prophecy. But proud to that, mommy, even during when she was facing the challenge of that primary infertility, mommy said, why do people worry so much to have children? Is it not for when they are old, the children will call their mommy, take care of them, and all that. So one faithful day, she put a chair just like this, and said, Papa, please sit let us discuss. And during that discussion, she, she told Papa that even if you not give me my biological children, I will still worship you. I will still praise you. But cause men to love me, to call me mommy. And after that, mommy had several children. Because of that Thanksgiving, she did. God blessed her with a child. And she conceived and gave birth to a child. And when she, she gave birth to that child, she thanked God she thanked God with so much appreciate, appreciation to the extent that God said, my daughter, because you have thanked me this far, I will bless you more. And as I'm talking to you now, our mommy have one, two, three, four children, four biological children, and plenty spiritual children, which I am part of them, and we all here are part of them. As you continue coming, you will know more about us. We are not a church. We love our mommy because that mommy is a covenant name. We love our mommy so much. We love God and we love ourselves. So you are highly welcome. As you are here, just enjoy today. I'm sorry to say this. We have um, different departments in the ministry. We have the Jesus wife. We don't call them widows. We have the young daughters. We don't call them spinsters. And we have the children ministry. And this program you are enjoying today is one of the departments that is the, uh, the young daughters forum. Which of area seven? Yes, we are called area seven. And in Lagos State alone, we have more than 200 chapters in Lagos State. And area seven is one of the best area in Lagos State. Young daughters of Monday, Monday to conquer. Oh. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Is that what you can do for Jesus? And kudos to our young daughter. The Lord Jesus is catching them young through our dear sweet mommy. Thank God for her. You know, it's not easy to hold the mic. When you hold the mic, you know, they will be like, oh, we are holding mic in front of AP, in front of IP, in front of all this. And I want to let you know that the ministry is based on two solid principles, love and appreciation. We love God, we love our mommy, and we love one another. May it interest you to know that the ministry is 35 good years. Yeah. Hallelujah. Anywhere you go, you will see SFI. And you know, mommy, when mommy was in that mini fellowship, the prophecy came that by this time next year, I'm going to bless you. And after that, the prophecy came to pass that God gave mommy that baby son he promised. And he did not just stop there. Now, those four biological children, they are 
men all married and the woman among them married too may it please you to know that that only daughter among them is the international president of young daughter hallelujah and why am i taking this mic why did i take over the mic i took over the mic in order to let you know that this young daughter she said that we have many departments this is the next generation of SFI. Yeah. Hallelujah. The YDM Forum. The SFI young daughters that have been mandated to conquer. Yeah. So as you have come, whoever invited you, quietly and nicely ask her her chapter. You are going to get a chapter everywhere. Even if in America, in London, everywhere you will get SFI. God bless you as you came. You have come. And as you continue coming, you will continue to enjoy the benefit we're enjoying the ministry of SFI. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Having heard the mission of this great ministry, we will hear the vision also. The mission also. As I call on as I call on Sister Lucy to take us on that, jam your hands together as she's coming. Praise the Lord. I'm Lucy Chinelo Ono from Oniru Chapter. I'm here to share the mission. Number one, to lead people, especially youth and women, to the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for a better and more joyful life on earth. Number two, to make room for capacity building, teaching and training of youth and women to develop, skill, to develop skills and potentials that will make them useful to themselves and their world at large. Number three, to give hope and gladness to the brokenhearted, the neglected, destitute, giving meaning to their lives through charitable arts. Number four, to create an exciting atmosphere in homes that is full of God's love, joy, and peace, thereby providing ways of building a strong family tie, thus making every member of the family relevant to the society. Number five, to help, to help couples discover that marriage can be exciting, sweet, blissful, enjoyable, not enduring, or a warfare. Number six, to increase the potentials for social work among one's community. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is it working? Is it working? Onaga. Onaga. Praise the Lord. It's time for presentation by YDF Area 7. <laughs>
Thank you, Jesus, for you are the one that have been our provider, our shield, all this while. Father, we say thank you. We are not taking it for granted, O oh Lord, for this opportunity that you've given us once again to give. We worship you with our offering, O oh God. Father, please accept our offering in the mighty name of Jesus. As we give, O oh Lord, Father, you say give, it shall be given unto us. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, shall men give unto our bosom. I decree and declare that as we give today, we shall know no lack in the name of Jesus. We shall know no lack in the mighty name of Jesus. Our bounds shall be filled in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You are God. You are not just big old. You are not just like you. You are a great God. You are God. I'm not 
happening in you. Young man has a mandate. It's only two people's voice I'm hearing. President from different areas in Lagos State. They are here. I want to recognize my own Adam Wanem. You know, when we come to, uh, I want to borrow from my APO. <laughs> hey, Shadow said, Mother Korom. I was made the president of Young Daughters Lagos State. Just look at me. You don't see me finish you. I know day for house. And God gave me Aaron. And God gave me Paul. I'm here to little little opportunity to say I love them. I have the president of Lagos Area 7, my own vice, and the person of blessing me, Onobo. No, you are not. I want you to welcome her. Jam your hands together. You know, Mommy just said, even if you are married, you will still be in young daughter's solo for about five years, at least minimum, and so on. <laughs> hey, hey! And she's married. She never leave her duty post. She's dead. Ajay Mopo. Well coordinated. When you go to Onita, you hear the first people that came first in number. Lagos area four. She is the president. So, I don't want them. You are highly welcome. Oh, thank you so much. And I want to appreciate 
and welcome my 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 the president of Lagos Area 8 in the name of Chioma Anuchuku call her in the morning midnight she will answer me human men thanks for coming mandated to conquer you are highly welcome and also I want to welcome and appreciate hey 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 Robert Mighty Adora Lagos Area 13 always yes you are seeing Ada always want to say something always very supportive Ada you are highly welcome oh and I'm seeing our own. No, you can't be there, my love. Please. Hey. The president of Lagos Area 20. In the name of Cecilia Domni. Hey, the last baby of Lagos State. And I want to welcome somebody. I want to welcome. Before you make a oh, you will know the person I want to call. Just calm down, oh. Do your tempo. I want to welcome our own too. A mother. An advisor. An encourager. Always there for young daughters. In the, our coordinator. No, if you are happy, if you know the person I'm talking about, you should stand up be happy. The president of Glory Chapter. Our own coordinator. So tell us, you know, in SFI we have hierarchy. So I'm calling her to call somebody, to call somebody, to call somebody. Jam your hands together! Hey, now you now you Praise the Lord. Hey, our joy today. We are the people that mommy came to say, look back, oh. And we have looked back, and here we are, that God made us in Area 7. Yeah. Hey, that we are the first people in yeah. Lagos State yeah. hey, to recognize the future of your daughters. Hey, Danu. Hey, what can you do, Danu? I will be carried away. Ah, praise the Lord. My AVP ma. Uh, I know the masquerade too, but there are big masquerades here. Please ma, make I call you so that you can go and open door for the bigger masquerades. <laughs> praise the Lord. Please, oh, clap for our big masquerade too. Oh. I have got a masquerade. Oh. Young daughters of Monday. Are you conquering the thing that way? Is that how they conquer? Young daughters of Monday. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know you people are like people that are on level. You have been pregnant since today is the birthday that you are going to push. But that day is here. I thank God for all of you. And uh, I welcome you all. Like she also welcome us. And um, I want to call up my own. My own. Somebody say my own. My own. Our own AP. To come and tell us <laughs> what <laughs> is <laughs> next. Hallelujah! I'm feeling young, you know. As you look at me, I'm just feeling 13. Hallelujah! Young daughters on Monday! Woo! 
Are you expectant? If I may if I may be go, if I may be I don't want to say if I get me, if I get me. Something has started happening already. I am happy to have all of you. You are welcome to the brand new authentic area seven. The perfection area. The area where every matter is settled. The area where with God all things are. Do you know it is possible that your wedding will take place this December? Hey! Who are you just sitting there? You are not tapping it. The mouth of the prophet has declared. If today is your first time, please or share scam view. Please send out first timers gifts, give them gifts and give them papers. Our first timers form to fill. Please, you know where your chapter the area, just neatly and carefully write your address so that we know where you are coming from to know the next, uh, the closer chapter, the chapter that is closer to you to send you there. Praise the Lord. Or if you know who invited you, the person that invited you will, you know, take you to her chapter. But for that late, that beautiful girl, this beautiful lady that saw us on Instagram, uh, she is in my chapter and she is in my group because I have a group in Igoi chapter. Praise the Lord. So let nobody corner her. I know Igoi people, they can corner very well. Someone is already standing laughing. The amazing group leader is doing her head to know the person. All the presidents of young daughters of every chapter in area seven, can you please stand up? The president of in your chapter, you are the president of the young daughter in your chapter. In the nine chapters in area seven, can you stand up? Do you know why you guys are standing up? As you're standing up, you're going to majestically come and hand over your young daughter's convention registration. As I ask you people, your presidents, they have posted it on the platform, but on this special day, is a privilege that we are handing it over in the presence of our IP. So if you are not ready, just prepare yourself, package it very well. You will come and hand it over now. Are you putting your hands together as the president of Ikoi chapter is coming? God bless you. The president of Obalende Young Daughters. God bless you. The president of, can you imagine? Oh my God. God bless you. That is Oniru chapter. Where is Nikon? Where is VI? Where is Peninsula? Begin to come quickly, please. Time. Time. Begin to come. Please, can I, beautiful. Oh my God. Can I borrow this? Yes, open it up. Put all. Yes. Nikon town chapter. Echo chapter, VI chapter. A week of Elf. Have I received from Elf? It's Elf, yeah? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Yes, my AVP is whispering to me that you can still update. Please do. And Father, behold the Young Daughters 2022 Convention Registration. Daddy, every name on this list I present before the altar of settlement. That on this day of their convention, October 2020, 2022, 20th to 22nd, every, every declaration that will be made on that day, Daddy, this name shall be beneficiaries in the name of Jesus. None shall be found wanting. And Lord, above all, you will carry them to their shiloh. 
and upon their Mount Zion they will receive their deliverance and they will come back with testimony. In Jesus' name, we have lifted these names. In Jesus' name, we have registered them. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you want to clap, clap. And at this point, I want to make welcome. I don't know whether you are excited. I am excited. Beloved, you know, people that we don't know what we have. When you have, they say there's this evil adage that someone that lives close to church goes to church late. Why? It's because the person is taking advantage because I can see the church building. But here in area 7, we know what we have. We are privileged to have someone in our midst. Someone that the whole of United States of America are eagerly waiting for next year. I like that. Are you hearing something? Area 4 said that they are the next. I like that. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Beloved, we are talking about that gift that God gave to SFI. We are talking about the seed that came from that gift and she's one of the gifts. We are talking about a lady that when I look at, I say, God, you have endowed so much in her. A lady that you will not even know where she's coming out from. When you stand beside her, you will not know the daughter of who she is. Humble, well calculated and well packaged. I don't know whether I'm saying the truth. Do I have confirmations in the house? A lady that is quiet. A lady that is well learned, educated. But above all, a daughter of the Most High God. The daughter that has been filled with the Holy Ghost, sanctified and purified by the blood. She is no other but the daughter of the international president and founder. She is no other but the international president of YDA worldwide. In the person of IP Mrs. Jess Ikechi Iredu. Put your hands together for Jesus. just glorify this God because this great God is the reason why we are here he has made today to be it's not a mistake it's not a coincidence it's not by chance it was divinely ordained Father we glorify your name we magnify you today we lift you up I'm saying, be magnified, oh Lord, you are highly exalted, and there is
Lord God of heaven, there is nothing you cannot do. That is why we magnify you today. We glorify you today. We exalt your name today. We lift your name on high today. And we ask that you take absolute control of everything that happened here today. Lord of lords and king of kings, take over me. I decree that you might increase. Speak through this mouth of me. Minister to the hearts of your people. Reach out to the hearts of your children. You know our needs. You know our cases. You know our expectations. Lord God, have your way today. Let your name be glorified and magnified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Can you put your hands together for Jesus? You can have your seats, please. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. Um, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, our mommy, and the person of Reverend Mrs. and Chessie for the privilege of being here. Thank you, our beloved AP. Thank God for you. Thank you, our AVP, everybody, all protocols duly observed. It's an honor to be here in your midst today. You could have called somebody else when you called me. But I know it's not, it's not ordinary, it's just God. And so I also want to appreciate my president, <laughs> if, um, President Tuju. President Blessing, Ada, Chima, all of you. Thank God for all of you. Thank God for all the presidents of Lagos State. You guys are really making me proud. I love you. Keep on keeping on. Keep flying the banner high. And God will continue to strengthen you and take you from one level of glory to another. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Um, usually, I know this is unusual because many people have spoken today with the mic and I'm sure my voice is different from the whole lot of people <laughs> that I've spoken. I asked mommy one time, I said, mommy, why is my voice tinier than yours <laughs> so much? Why is my voice this calm? Why can't I be like, you know, praise the Lord, you know, AP, oh, oh, praise the Lord, you know, just something really as when I say praise the Lord, you wake up from your sleep. That kind of voice. But she told me my voice is commensurate my size. So <laughs> and that's actually true. Because um, she used ATCC as an example. You know, the big ATCC. And she said, you see ATCC now? She has megaphone voice. And when she talks, every, somebody at the back can hear her without the mic. So it's commensurate with her size. So my voice is commensurate with my size. So I rest my case there because it was like I was praying, great about was praying, God, increase my volume, increase my volume, only for me to realize that this my voice is even my uniqueness. So I'm enjoying it now. And whenever I'm talking, I'm like, hey, your voice is like music to my ears. I'm like, oh, that's really good. Okay, so it's just that whenever I'm talking, I see people, people just don't know who's that. Who's sounding like that? Who's sounding like that? So. Everybody has their uniqueness. I might not be, you know, paw, paw, fire, fire, paw. Yeah, the fire is there. <laughs> and God is helping us. Okay, so I bring, you, I bring you greetings from our international president and founder of Sisters Fellowship, our own beloved mommy, Reverend Mrs. Nchesi Redu. I wish we had a picture. It just flashed our feature for people coming for the first time. But if you keep coming, you'll see her. And when you see her, you will love her. And if you come to convention. And if you come to our convention in October, yeah, this is still September, October 20th to the 22nd, you will definitely see her. And you will, I don't want to say fall in love, you will love her. Because they say if you fall in love, you fall out. So we don't fall in love, we walk in love. So that's a more falling in love. Let's scrap it. And you say, I'm walking in love. 
because falling in love is just for a period of time, then you fall out of that love. Or rather, you just wake up, hey, I'm on the floor. Let me stand up from this love, what's going on? <laughs> but if you're working, it's a conscious, deliberate action. So, because last convention, it was amazing. Some people were saying, mommy, we want to stay with you. We don't want to go. Let's continue. Mommy was like, don't worry, go. Come back later. <laughs> okay, so today is a unique day. It's a special day. And it's always wonderful when, um, for the younger generation, we listen to our pastors and yeah, our mommy, our aunties. It, but it's always wonderful when a young person I mean, younger person talks to a fellow young person. This is why there's peer influence, like going around, because your peers, when you go and meet your friends and they're telling you, hey, this is what I do, like, ooh, can I do that? Can you do this? And it's like, people our age, we just pick it up and start doing it, good or bad. But maybe your mom has been talking to you, don't do this, my daughter, don't do this. My daughter, I don't follow this. But you're like, mommy, you don't understand. Your generation and my generation is not the same. But she'll keep telling you, I know that thing you're saying. It happened in my generation. You know, sometimes we feel that, at this age, sometimes we feel like, when our moms are telling us, hey, somebody chased me, or a guy really chased me. If you see me then, hey, nobody will pass me and not look twice. When you're looking at that, your mom now, <laughs> you'll be like, in fact, let me not tell you what's on my mind if I do you. <laughs> because as you're looking at her face now, yes, age has happened. But if you look at their pictures from way back, so many, so many of them were, you know this thing we call Asa? Yeah. They were Asa Mpepe. As in, they were, they were probably, they might have been the most beautiful girls in their um, neighborhood or in their time. Oh, you know this age, when age is catching up, somebody's features are changing, things are changing. And... People would have been chasing her at that time, but it's not the same way it's happening now. We still that it's the same thing, but it's not exactly the same way. So it took me a while to realize it because mommy advises, yes, I listen because I just know that she's a, she's a woman of God, she's my mom, so I have to listen. But it took me a while to consciously like, receive what's being said and, and, and tell myself, what she's telling me is for my own good. I might not see it now. I might not understand it now, but let me just keep doing it. Not just as my mentor, but as my mother. Let me keep doing what she's telling me. That with time, I will understand what she's trying to say. You know why I'm saying it is that right now, I have two kids. And my two kids, I'm telling them, don't do this. Stop that. Drop it. Don't pick it. Don't go there. And it's like, look at me. My, my daughter asked me, Mommy, why? I'm like, when I look at her, eh, hi. Mm. I'll, just, I'll just tell myself, this generation, you have to answer the why. You have to answer the why. So I'm just like, because if you go there, you could get hurt. You could do this, you could do that, you could do that. Then sometimes I'll be like, don't do it because I say so. I know why I said you should. Don't do it. Because sometimes before you answer the why, the mistake has happened. But if to them, you're disturbing their peace. They know what they're doing. There's something you should be doing. You should be saying, Mommy, I can't do it. I can't handle it. If you want to, you can handle this thing. Now, me, I don't know what you can handle, what you can handle. So, but that is, it just, you know, this thing keeps going in cycles. It keeps going in cycles and cycles. So what I'm trying to tell us, I tell, I tell young daughters everywhere I go, listen to um, wise counsel. Listen to people that are older than you. There are people that, you know people that, that's wise counsel, not just anybody. There are people that, that don't make sense. But there are people that are older than you that give you wise counsel. Listen, don't act like you know everything. Even if it might seem stupid, just keep doing it at that time. Eventually, you realize it was for your own good and you see that it helped you. You know, there's some, what I do now, I'm a product of many meetings, many conferences, many words being spoken to me. I realized that I know some things now, not because I consciously learned them, but because I've been under tutelage. I've been going out with mommy, I've been watching, I've been listening, and I'm receiving some things unconsciously. And sometimes the pre situation presents itself, and boom, I know what to do. Boom, I have an idea. 
But if you're not consciously like just learning, when things happen eventually, because God would have been preparing you for that situation. He knows what will happen in the future. He's preparing you right now. But somebody's not listening. And when it gets to that point, that's when you now have to start learning. That will take another time. Well, who can tell me the topic of today? That's an interesting topic, right? You want to know who has your ear? <laughs> me too. Okay. Who has your ear? Holy Ghost, help me. Okay. Okay, so who has your ear? We have how many senses in the body? Five senses. Can we talk about it? The eyes, the ears, the nose, the mouth. Oh, so tongue, yes. And skin. So what is saying six? Is there six? Five. Okay. So, but who, ha who has your ear? I'm going to be talking about the ears today. All the senses in the body are very important. I'm going to be talking about our ears today. Who has your ears? By the dictionary meaning, the meaning of hearing is, hearing is an act or power of taking in sound through the ear. An act or power of taking in sound through the ear. We hear different things. We hear the news, both positive and negative. We hear people around us. We hear songs, stories. We hear happenings on social media. There are so many things we hear. You know, sometimes even this news, Steph, you would be wondering if you should listen to the news or not listen to the news. Because like almost all the time is bad news. I don't even know, I don't remember any news I've heard that's good news. I don't know, anyway, let me not say it. All the newscast, all the news channels, they always tell you there is war here. When it was COVID time, hey, God, just if you remove your eye and turn to the TV again, 1,000 people are dead. If you turn it, two million, uh-uh. The way the numbers were skyrocketing is as if there was somebody waiting for somebody to die so they can add it to the number. So the news, and I remember then, then when it was time for Ebola, that Ebola thing happened. I was in the US at the time, and what I was hearing on the news over there was that Ebola has taken over West Africa. Ebola has taken, but some, you're calling people here. You're discussing with people here, and they're working, they're going to work doing everything, and they're saying nobody has taken over, do you know what taking over West Africa is? And I told mommy, mommy, did you hear the news? Ebola has taken over West Africa, are we going back? <laughs> but she did, initially she didn't answer, I was like, mommy, this is very important though, are we still going back? She told me, Jess, if you want to stay, stay, as you see me, I've gotten there. <laughs> I was like, well, how will I stay now? Will I stay alone? So I said, my son, my sweet, mommy is going. Let's all go together. God to help us. When we, when we got down from the airplane, some people that got down with us were wearing their face masks, gloves. You know, the, what they didn't see is what they didn't wear. So we wore every, they wore everything, wore everything. Only for us to get to the airport. And people there were not wearing face masks. They were not wearing gloves. They were not, they were hugging. They were, ah, uh ah. -uh. But like, is this not the West Africa they are talking about? So when we came, even I was even like, when people came to welcome us, I was like, mm, let's be let's be careful right now. Like, but they were just hugging. Like, you could, I couldn't help. They hug. I just said, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, you know, <laughs> Holy Ghost. <laughs> and after hugging, we know one thing. Just like when Jesus is in your boat, you are not afraid. Mommy was the Jesus I saw at that time. As long as we can, but if anything is happening, let's together. Is it together something? As far as she's hugging her, let's hug together. Anything that happens. So, but after she's, she's hugging, uh -uh. so we got everywhere. In fact, when I came back, Lagos even had a program at that time. Come and see the crowd. I was like, is this not the same Lagos? This is somebody died. I mean, this one happened. Jesus. And we had that program, and that was the end. The story just disappeared into thin air. But over the news, you'll be having heart attack. And this is the way the news keeps flying everywhere. They keep saying one thing or the other. The worst now is even social media. Because we're hearing, hey, this one has happened, that one has happened, that one has happened, this one. 
you would say, hey, what's, what's going on now? What's happening now? What's happening now? Because <laughs> mommy said something. She said, I'll keep saying mommy because I'm learning from her. She said, do you know what people do? Somebody will just go and sit in one corner and just type. The dam, the dam in Kanji has broken to pieces. <laughs> there is no way to fix it. Run for your life. You know, somebody will just sit down somewhere and put nonsense on the internet and say, pass around to 20 people. The more people you pass to, the more will get, the news will get to people that will repair the dam. As, and you will see people sending messages to you, sending messages. The worst is the one that will, that will tell you, um, if you send to 20 people, a miracle will happen to you in 13 hours. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. So 20 will just mark miracle. I'm like, mommy was like, hey. So what she would say, she said, hey, a queen said you go and all. So she said, stop listening to unnecessary news. Leave it and listen to things that will glow, that will edify you. Things that will give God the glory. And when you listen to things, your spirit will come up. Instead of listening to negative news, we listen to songs and stories. You know, we listen to all this music right now, all these songs right now, and all the... Um, you know, Peru, Para, all the, all the why me, why me. Oh gosh, I don't listen. I just hear them on the radio, and so it's not like it's coming. But you know, it's amazing that some people will say, "I'm not listening to the song. I'm listening to the beat." Thank you, thank you very much. Also, the beat, the Peru, you just begin. You're not hearing it. It's entry well, well. In fact, you're downloading it inside. You just wake up. You just, you just wake up. Why you want why me? Why you want my it's in your spirit. So because there's, there's this thing that happens, just if you're listening to a song unconsciously, you might just pass somewhere. You're passing, you're, you're in the market, you're walking past somewhere, and you just say, I'll put you in front, in front of you're hearing it playing somewhere. If you pass, after a while, you'll be in your mind to be playing. You will know, all the matters. You will, it happens to you, right? So all these um what was the latest now? Buga is not latest though. What's this whiz kid bad to me? All this bad. Uh -huh. I shall care you in the hair. All those people. You see, all those people, yeah? I don't know. It's different. I've not heard this. The, the songs, as you're listening to them, you're, you're watching people dance uh, Something. Uh, la, 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 la. Somebody said, we're bugaring for Jesus. Thank you. I hear you. So we are listening unconsciously. All those things are entering. And they are taking over. And it's what? Like, when you're just calm, those things start playing. They start coming out, they start coming. That is why it's good for you to feed yourself with good things. When I was younger, mommy would tell me, you know when, at this point, we want to be like to watch movies, sometimes Nigerian movie, sometimes, you know, Netflix and all that. So after watching, when I go to sleep, hey, Lord God, number one, if the light is off, that's a big problem. I need light to sleep. So then, Okay, if I manage to eventually sleep, by the time I wake up, hey, jeez. I said, Mommy, you see the dream. Somebody was doing this one. Someone was chasing. Someone was running. Someone was. <sighs> I'll say it today. You know something that sometimes it's something that might happen once in a while. But this, I'll say it today. I'll say it tomorrow. I'll say it maybe two days after. She after a while, she said, All oh, these movies that you're watching, that's what you're dreaming about. If you keep watching when somebody is chasing somebody, because you know back then, how many of us watched this um, Isha would do, Isha would do something. Hey, this is the type of thing they will say, if it's not taste goody goody, you're still a baby. <laughs> this, um, all those, I am Matanga. Hey, oh my God. Hey, that, that, I don't know, that's Christian movie, but I don't, I, I do not like it. That type of Christian movie, I do not like it. Very scary. Christian, must the devil happen before the victory will happen? So every time I sleep is a problem. So mommy now told me, watch what you're watching. And I said, it's Christian movie now, but they are Matanga. So, but that's the, so after a while, I just realized that I mustn't watch that thing because somehow, consciously or unconsciously, it was in my subconscious mind. And when I'm sleeping, it's still affecting me, my dreams. So this is the this is what's happening because something might be happening to you right now. You don't know is what you're involving yourself in. It's what you're watching that you're taking in and that thing's affecting you. Okay, moving on. There are different kinds of sounds. There are external sounds and there are internal sounds. 
external sounds are all the sounds that we hear people talking um, social media the news all these things i've mentioned now they are external sounds and they are internal sounds internal sounds are sounds in your mind in your subconscious like is like sometimes when you're not talking but you're speaking to yourself maybe you're saying hey when will i you might see your friend huh when will i never get to this when will i achieve my dreams when will i get to this point when will i fulfill purpose when will i get to you know when will i like you're saying hey when will i marry when will i get this job everything is happening on your inside it's not it's not somebody talking to you right now it's happening on your inside and you know that type of sound i don't know if that one is the worst sound because that type of sound is very loud. It's very loud to you, but other people cannot hear it. And it's affected, it's like, you can't think, you can't reason, once you want to do something, the devil will bring it up, hey, you haven't gotten that job. You want to do something, hey, you're still waiting for that admission. So it just keeps reverberating in your head, it just keeps going, it just keeps, it's, it's even so bad that even when you want to sleep, it's the problem. Some people can't sleep because of that internal sound. I remember when I was about to get married, I felt there was so much to do, so much to do. Like I was like, hey, time is time is running out. You know when we're planning the wedding, time is running out. How do I? I didn't know how bad this was until I couldn't sleep. I'm so that also I just put my head on the pillow. Woo! To the glory of God, we just. But th at that point, as it was just, I was. It's as if I was moving in my head. My head. I'm going to the shop. In my head. I'm buying things. In my head. I couldn't unconsciously. I was walking. You know, I was walking in my head, but I was lying down on my bed. You know, sometimes there's some things that are disturbing you. You might not know, like, when you get started, so many things are loud in your mind. I want to achieve this. I want to do this. I want to do My children need to go to school. This, all those things are just, those sounds are very loud in our minds. Then I was talking about the five senses. Yeah, five senses. If someone would ask, we have um, people with disabilities and all that. So some people, um, some people cannot see, some people cannot hear, some people cannot walk, you know. So some people cannot talk. Yes, that's true. So if someone would ask, which one? I'm not saying anybody will not see your heel. So as which one? If you, someone was to choose one out of them, which one would somebody choose not to see, not to see, or not to hear, or not to walk? Which one is better? Which one is better to choose? Not to hear. Not to hear, okay, but to see. Okay, it's better to see and not to hear. Oh, okay. Okay, for the majority of people that said better to see. You know, what I want to tell us today is that sometimes we are very particular about seeing. See now, we are very particular about seeing. We want to see what's happening. We want to see who is passing you by. You want to see what's happening around so that you know if you're to run or if you're to stop. I remember then in my, my secondary school, hey, okay, my leg was always ready. Because they say, they're coming, they're coming. Also, you're ready for action. You don't know who is the day they're coming. They're coming to give you gifts. You don't know if they're coming. But as they're coming, they are the prefects and all that are coming to wire you. So you're ready to run. So unconsciously, once you hear they're coming, they're coming. Yeah. You're just running. So we love to see what's going on. And let me bring this home now. We like to see when God is doing something in our lives. And if we cannot see it, we feel like he's not working. Mommy prayed a prayer. How many of us were at September to remember? Because September to remember. It was too powerful. It was, in fact, it was mind-blowing. It was, it was awesome. Mommy prayed so much. She prayed a lot and said, she said a lot of things, just this now, AP said, that you might not see somebody right now, you're a lady, we're hoping to get married, but by December, you know, somebody might be there and they will not hear what she said. Because they are waiting, hey, God, oh, there's nobody by my side, oh. I'm, nobody, I'm not seeing anybody, nobody has said hello, nobody has said hi. It's so bad that sometimes when you're walking on the road, you're, it's like unconscious, they're waiting for someone to say, hello, sis, excuse me, excuse me. It's like you're waiting for something to happen. You know these movies, when you drop your book, your book will just fall. As you're picking it, your eye will jam somebody. And it's coming up and it's coming up. I was like, ooh, love at first sight. The person asks you, sorry, what's your name? 
Oh, mona wash. All those things wash. That's what they deceive us with, all those fantasy. <laughs> now, when you enter your, the marriage, you to open your eyes to wash it with cleanser. <laughs> wash. All these movies, I don't know if they need to take them away or throw them away from Netflix and you know, deceiving younger generation. You would think that's how it is. You think um, love in the air, you know, breakfast in bed, coffee, what's all those, um, you know, cruise on the water, all those balloon, you know. Ah, Lord God, mm -hmm. wake up and smell the marriage. <laughs> By the time you enter, um, I can't wait to welcome all of you to my club. Come here, come on, join me. I enjoy this ride. <laughs> come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> so, we like to see what is happening. When things are happening, you're seeing, like, you're walking in, like, okay, somebody's talking to you, like, yes, I'm seeing the progress. I'm seeing this. When God is working, I'm seeing God is working. Mommy has prophesied, yes. And it's like, we're waiting to see it today, tomorrow. Let me see the process. But I'm here to tell you. Sometimes you might not see the process. But remember what you heard. If God has spoken, his word will surely come to pass. It's amazing that we men, we like words. Let me take this for, for an instance. Like um, a couple, a man chasing you, or like your husband or something. We like you when they whisper in our ears when they're telling you, hey, I love you. You're this, you're the sugar in my tea, you're this one, you're my heart shrub, you're the apple of my eye. We like words. If you hear relationship experts talking about it, they say that women like it when you're talking to them, it gets to them. But women are still the same people that look out for signs and wonders the most. How can we want to hear what somebody is telling us? But when God is doing something, we don't want to hear what God is saying. We want to see what he's doing. That's an irony. If you want to hear that somebody loves you, you know the person is speaking from their heart. You want it when he speaks as if he's entering deep into your soul. That means that God has said to you, why can't it enter deep into your soul and you believe it the way you believe the word of man? But it's women that are always rushing to signs and wonders. It's women that are always deceiving men and taking men to prayer houses because we want to see miracles. You want to see it or suppose would that come. But we like to hear good things from men. Meanwhile, we're supposed to be the ones that we hear, hear from God and say, hey, honey, or sugar, this is what I heard. This is this, this is that. We hear, and you see with the eyes of the spirit, and you believe it, and you hold on to it. I'm going to give us an illustration now. Please, Uju, can you come off? And both of you come out. OK, so blessing. I'm going to try now. Blessing, many of us like to see. You can see, stand here. Um, Ada, please come. Turn a little to the left. Okay, that's great. Okay, so now 
there are two people. Blessing can see me, but she doesn't know what I'm saying because she cannot hear me. But Ada, even though she cannot see me, she's hearing my every instruction. And when, even when she was about to bump the table, she couldn't see it. But because I can see it, I told her when to turn. So if you can hear God, we want our purposes. We want to fulfill purpose. We want to see visions. We have things we want answers to. But we are looking for God's hand when we can only hear his voice. If you can hear his voice, he will direct you in the right way because he knows the way. He knows where he's taking us to. He planned your days from the beginning of the, of the world till now. Why can't we trust him and listen to him to take us to where he wants to take us? Adam, can you turn to the left a bit? Move to the left. Keep moving 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 to the left. You can stop right there. I can direct her to anywhere I want her to go as long as she's listening to me. And when God leads you, you can never miss your way. But as Blessing is standing right now, she's guessing, she's wondering what Ada is doing. She doesn't know what she's doing. Because somebody is listening to God. God is moving you from place to place. He's telling you this is what to do. This is where to go. This is how to handle it. Because you can hear him. But if you want to see everything he's doing, right now there's nothing happening here. But Ada is moving to her destination and fulfilling purpose because she's listening to the directions of God. So beloved, who has your ear? Is it social media that has your ear? Is it the news that has your ear? Or is it God that has your ear? Please, can you go and sit down? Thank wow. you. I knelt down to pray, and Holy Ghost ministered to me and said, The way you're living now, if you listen to me, I would show you great and mighty things to come. You know, because, because I realized when I knew that my kids to pray, they keep trying to stand up. They keep trying to stand up, and they keep trying to stand up, and like, you down now, you down. Every time they keep trying to stand up. So he now told me, This is why they keep trying to stand up because they cannot see. What is ahead? They want to see. But me that I'm standing at this level, I'm standing now, I can see everything. I can see your heads. I can see what's going on at the back right there. Can we read Isaiah 55? That's nine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours, and my thoughts higher than yours. Just as the heavens are higher than the earth. So how come we, with our little mind, try to comprehend what the big God is trying to do? Because we want to see what he's doing. Beloved, as I was kneeling, as I when I stood up eventually, I could see a lot of things. I saw things from a different view because I was already high up there. But when I tried to put myself down, I saw I couldn't see. I could see to a certain extent. This is why they say in our age, they say that what an adult sits down to see, a child standing up cannot see. It's not because of where they sit. It's not literally sitting. It's because experience and everything has made the adult to know a lot of things and the child is still coming up to. So whenever we're in the car, and the children are in the car, and, and mommy is in the car, I, they keep trying to stand up, and okay, I'm like, sit down now, sit down, sit down. Mommy, mommy was saying, check their level. Check the level of their eye and see where they can see. So you're sitting down, an adult now. You can see the window, you can see everything happening. But one day, when she said this, I had to bend down to the level of their head, and I saw only the dashboard. 
And I realized why they were always standing up. Because every time I keep wondering, why can't you just sit down in the car and look, look up into the window? But only one of them said, check the level of their eye. You see that now I'm talking about wise counsel. Check, and that's when I checked and I saw it was only the dashboard they could see. So now that they stand up, I was saying they are trying to see. So beloved, what level are you seeing now? That the big God is trying to tell you the next level because he can see all. He knows your destination. He knows where you're going. He has used our mommy to tell you that it is possible. That no matter the situation, no matter the circumstance, it is possible. Let me tell you something. The miracle that will happen for you is the one you remember. It's what you hear that will happen for you. I've had miracles in my life, and I remember that is because I keep remembering the words of my mentor. I keep remembering the words of my pastor. I keep remembering that God will do this. God, I keep telling myself, God will do this. God will do this. God will do this. And if I keep saying it and I keep believing it, it happens. But if you don't hear it, how will you believe it and how will you keep saying it? If you're hearing the word of God and you keep internalizing it, that is when miracles will happen in your life. You know, mommy said something before I had my, my, my first child. We had um, waiters. Let me not say the long story. But mommy said, when she prayed for us, she said, You will see your, your period this month. You might see your period this month, and you, you will see it the next month. I'm not sure I remember everything there because we were having choir practice and all that at the time. But I remember this particular statement. You will see your period this month, you will not see it next month. The other, the next month, I saw my period. I was like, God, you said, through your servants. And I, was, I will see my period. I said, okay. She said, I may see it this month. I will say, okay. God, this is that this month she was talking about. I will not see it the next month. I just said it. I didn't, there was nothing I knew I could do because only God knows what he would do. So, but that next month was too busy for me to even remember that I was believing God for something. And that next month, the miracle just happened beyond my expectation. So beloved, what are you remembering? This September to remember, what did you remember? Or what do you still remember from what our mommy said? She said something about God surprising us beyond our imagination. She said everything is possible. And let me tell you, if you don't have the word of God in your heart, because until you hear it and internalize it, and believe it and receive it, that thing will not work for you. See, I keep telling young daughters, know God for yourself. Have God for yourself. Have this thing with God. You know, they, they will tell you, hey, okay, now they've said it is possible. Me, I said, it is possible, it is possible. Personally, personally on your own. When you really believe God, you will know. When you when you have a relationship with God, you will know. You have to be close enough so that when he talks to you, you know, this is God talking to me. And there are ways in which God can talk to us because somebody might be saying, how do I hear God? How do I know he's talking to me? He can talk to you in your dreams. He can speak to you. There are all, not all dreams are the same. Some dreams are not ordinary. So he can speak to you in your dreams. He can speak to you through your mentor, through your pastor. God can speak to you through that way. He can speak to you through coincidence. It might look like things are coincidences, but it's not coincidence. Some things will just happen. You'll be like, hey, I was thinking about this and it just happened. How come? How did it just happen? It's God that planned it that way. And he can speak to you through his word, the word of God in your heart. As you're reading the word of God, he's speaking to you through that. Do you know another interesting one? He can also speak to you through media. Because this social media is not only for spreading rumor, it's also for listening to the word of God. Because how would the word of God get to the ends of the earth? It's getting to the ends of the earth through media. People might not be able to go everywhere, but online, internet, the message is reaching out, reaching everywhere. You know, Sometimes you can, when you stay on your phone, instead of watching all the um, 
all these um, influencers and all these um, what's all these people that make people laugh? What do they call them again? There's no comedian. That's a term they use for them. Skits. skits. Yes, kids. Instead of watching all these skits, listen to messages. You will even see young people like you ministering. Because it's not for only the older people. Ministering is for even for the younger people. Jeremiah was young when God picked him up. Even David was young. David was young when God started using him. He can use you too. You can be an example to your generation. See, I want to really emphasize on having this relationship with God. Because sometimes somebody might be saying, I'm trying to hear God, but I don't even know how. Or maybe I feel it's my sin that is making me not to hear him. There was this thing that happened to me one time. You know, initially, like, when I started learning about God, I, I understood that, hey, he's my father, he's, he's my confidant, he's a close friend that sticks closer than a brother, he's everything I need. Yes, that is it. I, I knew him as that for a long time. So whenever I had issues, I just run, oh, my father, my friend, this is what's happening. I had to, I had personal communication. You know, when I read Good Morning Holy Spirit, so Pastor Benny was talking about how you can just commune with God like he's with you, like he's with you right now on the bus. He's sitting close to you, communing with, communing with the Holy Spirit. So I felt like, hey, oh God, this is what's happening. I'm not like talking into the air, but like in my mind, as I'm saying it, I'm feeling the connection and the communication. I could feel it until recently. I had to discover God as a consuming fire. I had to discover God as the almighty God. As the big God who does big and mighty things. You see, this passage I read, as far as the heavens are above, are above are far above the earth, so far are his thoughts for us. Yes, he's my father, he's my friend, he's close, but we are not on the same level. If he says something, it comes to pass because I believe it. You see, when mommy is talking about this, my God, this, my Okechi, this, my Bubedike, this, my. It took a while for me to understand the mightiness of God, the magnitude of God, beloved. You see, this God that mommy is talking about, that I'm talking about right now, he's not ordinary. He knows the end from the beginning. He's the reason why we are living. You know, God can change situations within a split second. In the next hour, in the space of 24 hours, he can turn things around. You know, when she's talking about this thing, I say, is she, what this thing she's saying, is it really possible? I have checked, I have tested, and I've seen that it's possible. How can there be famine in a land for three and a half years and the prophet to come and prophesy and say, by this time tomorrow, there will be abundance of food in a dry and thirsty land. And somebody comes to say, there will be abundance. What will it happen? You see, you will not blame that man that said, um, that king's guy that said, how possible is it? Because you're looking at your situation right now. It might, it might be looking dry. You're looking at your circumstance right now. It might be looking dry and saying, how possible is it that God can turn my situation around? Beloved, this God is a mighty God. And he can change any situation. He can make that thing that you're looking at, thinking that it's big, he can make it look so small. Because faith is believing in the integrity of God. When you believe his integrity, he can change things. You see, that, that chief, the, that king's um, chief of staff, did not believe that food would be in abundance. If Elijah had said, by this time tomorrow, maybe food will be coming gradually. You know it's a gradual process. It's a, he would have understood it. But how can you not see any food? There's dryness in the land. And somebody is saying, by this time tomorrow, food will be bracketed everywhere. If you put yourself in his shoes, you will see that he did not make a mistake in believing that food that is not possible. Because right now, some things are happening and we're thinking it's not possible. You see, my young daughters, I believe that it's possible for us to rise up and be on fire for God. I believe that it's very possible. 
I believe that you must not wake up every morning and the first thing you will check is your phone. I believe that it's possible for us to go to that online and we're listening to messages and we're talking to people on the road, we're evangelizing to our fellow friends. I believe it's possible for us not to be influenced by the world, but, but for, 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 yes, it's possible for us not to be influenced, but for us to influence the world. I believe it's possible. I believe that our young daughters are truly your mandate for God. You know, gone are the days. Let me tell you people something. This young daughters in particular, let me tell you. Gone are the days when we are waiting for somebody to come and baby us. I'm waiting for somebody to tell us, hey, this is the way of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Believe you, Psalm 23, Psalm 24. Girl, babe, wake up. You know that song? Collect your Bible and wake up. Do not collect your money. Because those people are collecting your money and trying to, to bring you down. See, the devil knows that this is the last day. So his eyes are very open. And he's setting all his agents on fire to take over. He knows that his own is doomed already. So he's looking for people who can take over. So let me tell you. If you're waiting now for somebody to come and tell you, hey, church now, hey, come, come and try and say, come. no, shine your eye. It's time for you to stand for what you believe in. Hear the God of your mothers. Hear the God of your fathers. Hear the God of SFI, the OKG of SFI. And stand your ground for him. Stop waiting for somebody to call you. Come to fellowship. Come to meeting. Come to church. Come to this one. Read your Bible. If you check your age, you're coming up. You are coming up. Somebody said, if you think that you're pretty young and you're supposed to live only 30 years and you're 17 right now, you're pretty old. Because nobody knows when they will leave the world. You might be thinking, I have a lot of time to leave. Check your friends, are they still there? Your colleagues, are they still there? Everybody you knew growing up, are they still there? It's the privilege that you're alive in the world today. It's by the grace of God that you are here. So somebody should not be waiting for somebody to keep calling you and keep begging you. It's this same God that has given you bread. Why Jesus told Martha that Mary has chosen the most important thing? Because Martha was too busy facing the cares of life. She was doing the right thing. But there were so many things distracting her. But Mary chose, Mary did not serve food. She just sat at the feet of the master to hear. And Jesus said, Mary has chosen the most important thing. Because sometimes you have to allow, drain all this noise and all these voices in your head and listen to the one true voice that is able to pick you up and take you to where you're supposed to be. You know, your sin cannot stop you from hearing God. God is ever willing to talk to you. He's ever willing to lead you in the right direction. And one major point I want us to note is that uh, somebody was saying, you know, there's this thing that people do that um, at the beginning of the year, people will say, I'm going to the mountain to hear God. Abby? People go to the mountain a lot. They're not going to the mountain. They'll say, I'm going to one corner. I'm doing this. I'm 21 days fasting. I'm 52 days fasting. All those fasting. All those things are good. But you know, you can go for all these fastings and you will not hear God. God chooses when you hear him. You don't choose when you hear God. He chooses the appropriate time to tell you what he wants to tell you. It might be in the midst of that your work. In the midst of that your struggle. That is when he's talking to you. That's when he's saying, my daughter, this is this, this is that, this is that. You have to hear him at that time. Because there's something he wants you to learn. And you might be going through something right now. That thing you're going through, like our mommy always says, you're passing through it. You will not remain there. But as you're going through it, what are you learning from what you're passing through? You know, everything that happens to you, there's a reason for it. And God wants you to learn something. If you learn something from it, then it will help you in the next phase of your life. So, beloved, I'm here majorly to tell you that it's time for us to open our ears to hear God. 
at this point, we're going to stand and pray and say, Father, and say, Jesus, my dear Jesus, I want to hear you. I want to know you more. I want to hear your voice so I can see you more clearly. Father, open up my ears. Open up the eyes of my inner man. Let me hear you speaking directly to my heart. I drain all the noise in the background only to hear you. Help me, O oh Lord. I cannot do this on my own. I rely on you. I depend on you. I surrender to your will. Help me, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. Jesus, the Son of God. Jesus, the Son of God. I believe in you. I believe in you. Hold on, my God. King in authority. Great I am that I am. Awesome wonder. Dependable Father. Reliable Father. The Father that is more willing to hear than we are willing to say. The Father is more willing to talk to us than we are willing to hear. We rely on you. We want to hear you more. We want to see you more clearly. We want to know you more. Ancient of days, the Almighty God, have your way in our lives. Help us to hear you. Help us not to be distracted by the happenings around us. Help us not to be distracted by the social media. Help us not to be distracted by our friends, by our colleagues, by even our family members. But let us focus on you and hear you more. Thank you, Abba Father, because we know that when we ask, that you, you, you respond. Thank you, Prince of Peace. Hallowed be your name. Oh, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, pray. Amen. Amen. If you want to put your hands together for Jesus, you do it better. To the one that you are expecting to hear from. To the one that will start to speak to your ears and even as the prayer has gone forth we will hear him and we'll hear him audibly and clearly in jesus name let us stretch forth our hands towards our beloved ip i believe you were blessed i am really blessed oh father thank you daddy thank you for your daughter mightly you have used her to help us to channel our ears to you. You have used her to speak to us, letting us know that our ears should be clean to you, that we should hear you for you to be able to direct us. That is not just that we are seeing, but to hear you and for you to take over the route of our lives. That is thank you. Thank you for unction. Thank you for anointing that she's carrying. Thank you for the grace that you have bestowed upon her. Lord, we pray that you will multiply in the name of Jesus. Perfect all that concerns your daughter. That this work you've handed into her hand, we ask so God for divine ideas that comes from you. We ask so God for greater grace and more anointing, more direction, strength from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, thank you because she will not fail. She will not falter. She will not disappoint you. Above all, that on the last day she will receive a richly welcome. 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Put your hands together for Jesus. I will point at someone and you tell us what you learned. To make sure that what she say with that her cool voice. I tapped my AVP. I say, I'm so excited. I'm blessed. She came down to your level. And with through what God is saying through her, you know, you were blessed and I am blessed. I want, I'm coming. I don't know where I'm going. Anywhere the thing leads me, I will ask you, what did you learn? All right, my darling Okafo, Miss Okafo, what did you learn today? I learned that you don't necessarily have to see things, but once you can hear God, you, you are directing. Amen. Wow, to be sure that, you know, we are flowing. What did you learn? something that sometimes God don't speak to you when you want him to speak. Only speak when he wants to speak to you and direct you. Is she in line? Who said no? That was even the last thing that IP said. Alright. Please, well, I'm sorry to say if you stand up, you say your chapter. The first speaker, the first person that answered from Peninsula chapter, the second person is from Ikoi chapter. Please come back. I'm not giving you the mic, but come back. Please come back. I'm from Ikoi chapter. I learned that it's good to listen. It's better you use your ear than your eye. Okay. You better you use your ears than your eyes. It's better you use your ears than your eyes. All right, I'm going to Victoria Island chapter. What did you learn? I learned that we should not. I learned that we should not let. Uh, I learned that we should not let what we see on the media make us to divert from the way of the Lord. That we should listen to what God says. We should listen to. We should focus on the Word of God. And if we have any, um, what's the word? If we have any thing when we feel like we're not. Um, we're not getting what we want to get or things are confusing us that we should always go back to the word we should listen to God we should not use our eyes we should not use, because we should not use our eyes and depend or believe everything we see that we should always go back to the source which is God and listen to what he has to say and listen to him talk directly to us did she get something? Yes. praise the Lord I'm looking for that Chakra Chakra Lady in Glory chapter. Ah, okay, she's stuck. I can't see her. All right, darling, what did you learn? I learned ways to hear from God, and in order for us to hear, so we hear from God, there are certain things we have to dismiss. In order for you to hear from God, there are some certain things you need to do what? Because God cannot speak to you when such things are there. I learned that um, what and um, anytime we listen to God, God will direct us where we will go to. Are you not clapping for her? Ah uh ah! -uh. Oh my God! We have a first time, and I want to ask her because she is that lady that saw the flyer on social media. And was very eager to be here. Can we know your name and what you learned? Were you happy to be here? Are you happy to be here? My name is Favo, and I learned that we should know God for ourselves. Simple. Know God for yourself. Praise the Lord. And I believe we are all blessed. And we are going to. Are we? Do we? Are we? Are you? Do you want to thank God for what he has done today? Yes. Are you sure you want to thank him for what you learned today? Yes. Even me, if I should ask my our VOV, what did you learn today? It's not only young daughters, so before they would think it's only them that this message is. Okay, I learned that we should trust the integrity of God. He knows the end from the beginning. And what you, can see, you cannot see is sitting. We the elders know. So listen to wise counsel. And take to wise counsel. 
Oh, listen to wise counsel. Take to wise counsel. I have come to thank you. I have come to thank you for what you have done. I have come to thank you. I have come to thank you. Let us join them. I have come to thank you. I have come to thank you for what you have done. Say it's you. We love you. 
now Oh, ballet the chapter oh. Love you Baby, soon the chapter hey. They love you Oh, deep Night got chapter oh. We love you They love you hey. We love you They go chapter, I say We love you They go read chapter, I say We love you And chapter, I say we love you, we are chapter. We love you, 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 best in the house. We love you, best in the We love you, we love you, we love you, we love you. I do, we love you. We love you. I be we love you. We love you. I be we can't stop loving you. We love you. I be I ya oka jina ya o. I be I be India o. India ima o. This is from the young girls of Siberia. Seven I be Johnny Son Kuku. We love you. I be we love you. We love you. I be we. We love you. We love you. We love you. Everybody come and show love. We love you. We love you. Hey, Omo Omo. We love you. We love you. I be we love you. We love you. I be the alpha. We love you. I be we love you. I be we love you. Love you. I be we love you too. We love you. Tell her you love her. I love you. Tell her you love her. We love you. Dance and tell her you love her. We love you. Wave and tell her you love her. We love you. Blow kiss and tell her you love her. We love you. Yeah, we love you. We love you. Hey, baby, I said we'll never be apart. We love you. Oh, hey, we're gonna jam one. Hey, oh, I be I love you. We love you. No, there are seven young daughters are loving our dear GPK. And the president of Young Daughter Area 4 received a gift from Area 7 Young Daughters. We love you. The president of Area 8, Young Daughters, Area 7, is saying we love you, Area 13. Oh, 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 oh. Now you communicate with your son. You have done us well. Thank you for fair weather. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the strength to prepare for this program. Thank you for the young daughters. Thank you for everything that you have done. We have just come to say thank you, sir. May your name be forever glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. And even as your word has gone forth, let it not be just hearing as usual. That, it, that we will make it a point of duty that you alone will have our ears. In the mighty name of Jesus. I cover each and every one of us with the blood of Jesus. I hit a wall of fire around us. I decree and declare that no weapon of the enemy fashioned against us shall prosper. Amen. Any tongue that shall rise against us in judgment will be destroyed. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Even as we live here, I give the angels charge over us to carry us in their arms and ensure that nothing hurts us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Even throughout the week, it will be a week of congratulations. Amen. It will be a week of back-to-back -back miracles. Amen. When men are cast down, we are going to be saying there is a lifting up. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you for our AP. Oh my God, the strength, the energy, organizing, doing so many things at the same time. Daddy, thank you for her life. 
Daddy, we pray that you continue to increase her in the mighty name of Jesus. Increase her on every side before she calls answer in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Daddy, for everything that you have done. We return every glory back to you. May your name and only your name alone be exalted. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Can we shout that amen three times? Amen. 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 And let's make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. May we share the grace in fellowship. Surely, God will never mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall learn it.